The family comedy Life in Pieces returns to CBS tonight, and the show tells the story of a large family from the perspective of three generations. Here's a clip. Found it! What? Where was it? It was in the pantry. Along with something else I thought I lost. My ukulele. Oh, you found that too? Yeah. And you're still doing the authentic pronunciation. Night, night. One of the co-stars, Colin Hanks, sat down with our Anne Marie Green to talk about the new season. Actor Colin Hanks joins me now. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. We just saw a little bit of what everyone else will be seeing tonight. Yep. Um, what I love about the show is it's there's real life. I feel like you guys are living portions of my life, but it's much more enjoyable and funnier when you guys are doing it. Well, I mean, I would hope so. Yeah. I mean, we're supposed to be funny, that's for sure. But I mean, that's the same thing that attracted me to the show. You know, this idea that we would have four short stories every week that sort of give you these little vignettes, these little clips yeah. of milestones in a family's life. And that goes for the, you know, the new parents with a, with a, a three-year-old or the grandparents dealing with kids moving in and, and the ins and outs of you know, three generations of a family. And so we always hope that there's something that is relatable that people can watch and say, oh, I've had a similar moment like that in my life. Because yeah. I think that's when you're able to slip in the most comedy and, and get people laughing. Because real life is actually quite funny. Yeah. If we can sort of separate it. Often when you're in the middle of something, it sounds horrible. And then when you retell the experience, everyone's laughing. Well, and I also, I mean, we talked about this a little bit when we were sort of get, gearing up to start the show. You know, there are some of the funniest stories in a family's life. Maybe you can't tell that story for 22 minutes. But you can tell it for three. Right. And so the the short stories every week, it, it's sort of this great sort of method of being able to deliver to deliver these little stories yeah. that you know have you know a couple of laughs, a lot of heart, and when you throw the four of them together, sometimes they can tell a much greater story. So yeah. it, it, it's a fun show that is incredibly relatable, but yet it has a sort of delivery method and a structure that is a little bit different, but that helps us tell our story. Yeah, but the writing is really good mm -hmm. because it captures the subtlety of, of humor in real life. Yeah. It, it's not, it doesn't require overacting, but it requires a little bit of punchiness. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 this season I've sort of just accepted, like, we should just call it, like, a farce. It's right. just a, a heightened reality and, 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 and a comedic reality that is, it's kind of hard. It is a different gear. Mm -hmm. uh, and sometimes it, you, you sort of, you know, burn the clutch a little bit, I hate to say. Uh -oh. Sorry, Fresno okay. is calling me. Oh, well, you're in high know, demand. That's what happens. I don't know who happens. Fresno is, but that's <laughs> happening. Um, but no, I mean, it does require, like, the, 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 that sort of timing and that sort of, like, comedic rhythm does yeah. require a little bit of a gear. And sometimes you sort of burn the clutch out a little bit try, trying to find it. But when, you know, the, we, oftentimes the writing is so spot on that it's really just more about getting that that timing and that patter out yeah. and and when you are able to land in that zone it's you go oh well i know exactly how this is supposed to work now yeah oh you guys are nailing it because i i had tears in my eyes watching some of these episodes all we like, always happy tears, to make happy people tears. cry i know i always, know just have an emotion <laughs> have an emotion for once in your life i try i try to dig deep well you, you brought that out of me i appreciate um it. you play greg yeah he's married mm -hmm. he has a baby yep. uh his uh, his wife seems super smart yep uh why did you like this character I enjoyed the, uh, uh, for me it was really a chance to be able to sort of reach into a, a section of my life that I hadn't really been able to explore in my work, which was being a, being a father. I have a, a six-year-old and a four-year-old, and, and the sleep-deprived, you know, sort of delirium of those <laughs> first couple of years yeah. and just trying to feel like you've got two steady feet under you. Um, I knew that there was a lot in that that I, I didn't necessarily need to like put on screen, but I could at least draw from, and that to me was was really exciting. And then, quite honestly, the fact that the show is structured the way that it is, I found it to be incredibly refreshing. You know, um, you read a lot of scripts throughout the course of a career. You read a lot of scripts in a pilot season, and they all tend to sort of be the same, and they all tend to sort of have the same sort of patterns. And here was one that was completely different 
from anything else that I had seen with these four sort of short stories, four vignettes, four sort of like cartoon length stories, if you will. But they tell a much, you know, greater story. You know, the story of the, the sort of short family, and I, I thought that that was really appealing. Uh, you have dabbled in a lot of different things, though. Yeah, yeah sure, comedy, but there's drama, mm -hmm. a documentary filmmaking, yeah. Broadway. Yeah. Uh, what are you going to be when you grow up? Are you going to pick something? I'm going to just try and eke out this 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 thing as for as long as I can. I don't know. I mean, it's look. I'm incredibly fortunate that I've been able to have a career. Uh, for as long as I, I, I have, because a lot of times the window closes. And I've had plenty of moments where I thought that window closed. <laughs> um, but um, really the thing for me is, is um, I, I w want to wake up and be passionate about something. Like, I'm not good at faking it, which is weird considering my job is to fake it. Precisely. Of the I'd time. say you're pretty good. Um, but for me, that only, I'm only really good at what I do and that's not even really fair for me to say, that's more for other people, but I, I only feel like I'm doing well if I'm engaged. And when I'm engaged, it's not work, it's just fun. And yeah. I, that's, I'm just trying to find the fun, that's, always. Life in Pieces, season three premieres tonight at 9.30, 8.30 Central, only on CBS.